I am coming on to provide another installment of my relaxing bossing series. Sorry, let me just fix my car keys there so that they don't make noise. I had to complete entry mode to theater but last night so that I could get my quest cape for Lumbridge Elites today. And we did that. So I currently have my Lumbridge Elites done. I actually have three Elites done. And if I remember, I will uh, post an image of those here uh, during my maiden fight, as this is a pretty simple encounter in Theodore of Blood. As you can see, at, at my level and with my somewhat budget gear being just melee void and a whip, um, you don't really have to pay much mind to her mechanics, and even the mechanics that she does have uh, are very irrelevant. Um, I will say right off the bat, this is my first time running Theater of Blood, although I have seen encounters from it. Uh, you know, my iron account is the furthest that I've ever gotten on old school RuneScape, or you know, RuneScape in general, and I've been playing for like 16, 17 years on and off. So, you know, this was pretty cool to do, despite the fact that entry mode is really simple. Um, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not simple, especially not compared to other quests in the game. This is definitely the most challenging uh, solo content you could do in the game, in the questing sphere. Uh, for sure, aside from, you know, augmented runs like pure, what, pure bosses, etc. Um, got some water. Oh, and I am uh, running ZMI as I narrate over this, of course. This is uh, not real time. Uh, my rune crafting, rune crafting right now is 77, so, um, or 75 rather. <laughs> I'm going for 77 at CMI with some day off. I'm getting some really great EXP rates. I'm moving on to boss number two, being uh, the pestilent blow. Oh, sorry, I just want to <laughs> continue with my point before, which is that, uh, this is my first time running Theater of Blood. It was really cool, and right off the bat, I would just like to say that I, <laughs> I definitely see a lot of inspiration taken from WoW. Get some nice DDS hits here. I remember that one was was pretty nice. Yeah, a lot of inspiration taken from WoW, specifically from like the Nax Ramus era of aesthetic and raid boss design. I mean, this is literally, you know, an abomination from <laughs> the. Uh, you know, Lich Forces, Undead Lich Forces from the Warcraft IP, so yeah, um, I would just like to point that out, but to me, you know, it's, that's cool. Um, Next Ram is a fan favorite. Any of you coming over from WoW and know stuff about WoW, you'll know that. While Next Ram is certainly a pain in the ass and not quite as much fun to raid as it is to remember, um, Design-wise, it's one of the most ambitious projects ever released in World of Warcraft or in any gaming MMO ever, really. And uh, was one of the most challenging engagements for its time, I believe completed by like 0.6% of the player base or less. Probably less. see that a lot in the arachnid design of the raid and even some of the mechanics uh, a lot of wow like mechanics adapted to a runescape platform uh, mob waves um you know the uh the next boss coming up here Vasilius, <laughs> i believe is how you pronounce her name or his name rather Is, this is a very WoW-like encounter where you open up with waves of mobs attuned to 
you know, some sort of mechanic, and then it uh, sets up the second phase of a fight. That's sort of the staple, um, Wrath of the Lich King, Burning Crusade uh, framework, and uh, definitely stayed with the game's uh, design thoughts going down the road. For sure. I'd also just like to point out I'm getting around 80,000 or higher uh, EXP per hour at CMI, and I'm still adjusting to the giant patch, so that's, that's pretty good. Um, I really don't mind grinding CMI. The worst part about it is actually mining the Day Elf Essence is a pain. And so yeah, I actually uh, sped this portion of the encounter up because this is very long. <laughs> this is actually very stressful for me because I thought you had to um, get the first phase uh, progress bar down to zero. And so I had a feeling I was gonna be losing some pillars, but uh, in the end, it uh, didn't really matter. And so you can see here, I'm, I'm soloing this with minimal uh, knowledge and zero practice going into it, and I'm barely using any supplies. Obviously, you know, I'm going to use a bit more on the last two fights, uh, Zarpis and Vajar. <coughs> Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Um, but on, on those encounters, I also made a lot of mistakes, as you'll see, uh, especially Vitier, I made a lot of mistakes because despite my enabling of their hitbox, uh, their hitbox did not show up. Maybe I needed to relog, so I had a hard time um, avoiding her ranged attack stun combo. You see her, uh, now the real encounter starts. And uh, I do believe I'll, I'll leave in some of the music from this. Not all of the clips are usable. But I think this segment came out sounding pretty nice. As you can see, I, I got pretty lucky with my Dragon Warhammer specs so far throughout the raid, and I continued to get pretty lucky. I believe I get one off on Zarpus, and I get two off in total on Badur, and then I believe I get a DDS spec towards the end. You have to start that fight off with the spec, though, or you, know, you, you should to speed it up. So you don't open with 100% of a dur. Oh, accidentally deposited my stamp pot. Gonna have to reset my XP per hour here. So yep, that was a pretty easy fight. Um, read through this book and then move on. I'm actually looking at my Vegas and it looks like I have a pretty sloppy cut. I think I'm, I'm figuring out where to go. Um, Clearly, I did not cut this properly. I will have to uh, cut this audio out to not me speaking now, but uh, the audio that I'm listening to right now. So here I go. This is Sodetseg. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I should have really looked up the pronunciations before doing this video, but. You know, I'll, I'll learn all this when I actually start doing Theater of Blood. Um, this is a really, really easy boss on beginner mode. If anything, this is probably the easiest encounter outside of Maiden on entry mode. For sure, the maze itself is really simple. Like, if you guys can't run the maze... And it's not because your hardware, your software is in like a fucked up position. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Um, <laughs> late game BBM content is probably not gonna be for you because movement is such a specific thing. I mean, as you can see here, I'm not even doing uh, the maze very efficiently. I actually, if you've watched 
Tasty's Guide on that maze in particular. This isn't going to be so useful for me, so I'm not going to be... I, I haven't done this yet, but in the future, you know, there are websites you could go to that'll generate a maze algorithm for you, and you click through it as you would um, uh, if you were running it in-game. And I think that's, that's so funny. That's such an easy way to practice, and uh, it's such an easy thing to learn especially with dial highlights and indicators, which I've been using just to practice um, my timing and my pathing. Uh, just in preparation for some of the late game stuff that I'm gearing up to do, being like solo cogs and, you know, possibly theater of blood down the road, obviously. Further down the road, of course. I need some pandas. I need to finish out my melee gear. Here I am doing it again. Uh, so when the pink dial disappears, uh, that is an indication that my character, uh, my character's true dial, as in the, the character that the game will truly register is on, is um, is indeed the one that I clicked on. So you're you're good to move as soon as you see that, pretty much. Um, I also play with my latency in my top right now, which is pretty pretty nifty. As you can see, I've, I've gotten a little bit more min-maxy with my setup, which is something I was opposed to when I created this account, but now that I'm so late, you know, I'm kind of in the world of meta meta numbers, meta gaming anyway, so uh, it's only natural that I would move towards that. And so now we're coming up to the boss I technically struggled the most with. I don't know if this was because I just took a large dab and I was coughing a lot. I'm going to use that as an excuse, uh, potentially. Um, but he has Sarpus. Um, his second phase just... Or, well, I, I suppose his third phase technically just... Uh, messed with me. I don't think I've realized he transitioned when he did, and so I kind of fumbled around for a little bit. I got hit, and then I switched my protection prayers, which I think was the reason I started taking passive damage. I believe you should be praying ranged throughout, or I could be wrong, but I think I fucked it up and switched over to mage. I also just didn't, um, I didn't walk a clean formation here. I didn't realize until I was close to the end that the poison, um, AOE did not, uh, did not despawn. So, I was careless in the beginning and it kind of bit me towards the end and I ended up going through a bit of my supplies um, coming up here for the final boss but it was still uh, no big deal. I still finished Victor with quite a bit of HP and supplies left I, if I recall correctly. And so I know I'm a pretty high level. And my, my gear is pretty good, like with the Dragon Bolts and stuff, but hopefully, um, if you are like a lower level viewer and you're maybe looking to play more like mid-game, late mid-game content, um, and you want to get like a quest cape, uh, hopefully this should be good motivation to show you that it's it's really not that difficult. And here you see I'm running a, a much better pattern, but I, I get myself into a little bit of a... Uh, corner there with that, but that's all right. I think I get a little bit low there and start uh, eating. And now here, I, you know, I, I'm still in range, so I don't realize. Not that I don't realize, but I'm questioning what phase he's even in. So you know, I'm hesitating, switching over, etc. He can reflect damage, or he does reflect damage in this phase if he's facing you, so I was getting pretty nervous about that because I, I didn't want to KO myself. Also, I would just like to point out that a Ring of Suffering with Recoil is what I was wearing, but I forgot to toggle it. That would have helped a lot on uh, Vasilius. <laughs> like, a lot. Um, but 
that was fine. I still didn't lose any pillars or anything like that. And again, a good good demonstration to uh, show how approachable this content still is. You know, it's not nearly as difficult as the raid itself. It's just uh, entry mode. It's just to dip your feet in the water. And now here comes the uh, real star encounter. Uh, this is, you know, the rest of the video here. Um, you can see that spec is really effective. Uh, opening with that was definitely the call. Um, I think my pillars would have been fine, although I, I don't know how it works if you have to start moving backwards in the pillars. So, yeah, I guess it definitely was necessary to open up with the spec. Um, the rotation here is uh, two on and then one off for attack, and then, you know, you're good. If you bring mage, uh, you won't take a lot of damage from the attack. If you do fuck it up, um, you know, I was doing this for a while. I took, like, you know, dab breaks in between the bosses, and so this ended up being, like, a 44-minute theater blood, despite the fact that I was only playing for 20 minutes. So, you know, I, I played it really safe here, and I, I used the protections uh, as safe as possible. I mean, I had the super restores, and Elite Void has some nice prayer bonus, so, you know, no harm. And I didn't end up taking any hits either way. I believe here I actually uh, ran to the next pillar just, just in case. Yep. But I was good. So now the real fight starts. As you can see, her hitbox is not coming up. And your character, I believe, it seems will auto run into, yeah, auto runs into her, you know, melee zone. And then you need to step diagonally um, away from her to, you know, do a one tick walk such that she won't get you in the stun cycle that I get caught in. So yeah, this actually ends up being a pretty sloppy run, despite the fact that I do get the kill uh, with quite a bit of supplies to spare. Uh, this phase just went horribly. Um, and that's okay at the end of the day. boxes were on, I'm pretty confident I could have gotten the rotation. I mean, I definitely do get it by a range attack a couple times, but that is really only because I started spam clicking um, here, you know, take out her, the minions that she spawned. I believe she does this at the set health she was at. Otherwise, she will uh, life leech any damage you do uh, at a one-to-one -one ratio, so yeah, it could be pretty punishing. Let's see what kind of CMI uh, rates I can truly get now. So yeah, I'm finishing this phase up just fine. Um, I was pretty confident that the next phase would be easier to deal with, and it is easier to deal with, in my opinion, for entry mode. So I wasn't too concerned with the supplies I was going in. Uh, just had to stay high HP, and I would be good. A hitbox here would have helped as well. But you see here, got that Dragon Warrior was back off. Here you want to bait her ranged attack out. Um, she may mage, but I believe it's less frequent. Um, by being away from her on her attack cycle. That way she won't melee. This just reduces the amount of damage she'll take over time since you will have to tank uh, mage hits like that. Um, if you're not mage switching, or if you're not prayer switching, I believe you can prayer switch out of those. But, of course, it's not... Uh, not necessary on entry mode, nor is it necessarily advantageous to kind of get yourself killed trying to concentrate on something like that. Here, I did fuck up this web phase, um, hitting auto retaliate instead of long range, stuff like that. It was just really stupid. Um, 
it's okay though, I still did get some damage and I never did get webbed, so, you know, again, no harm done. It's just kind of making me look bad. See, I suppose this is kind of a, uh, an unrelaxing installation to relaxing bossing. Um, but I was pretty relaxed. I mean, it was really late at night when I was doing this. Uh, I was pretty tired. I'm actually pretty tired out. Because I keep waking up early with a stomach ache. Like every single morning for the past couple of weeks now. It is what it is. Um, so yeah, I was really pleased with how I did. At this point, of course, I knew you know, it, was, it was a done deal. I think I actually pull out the DDS here pretty soon once I uh, super combat up with one of the uh, med packs, which does act as a super combat very conveniently. Let's see, yeah, we're sitting at ninety thousand road crafting per hour um, with the. Uh, NPC contact and messed up agility bot, so I want to see if I could get that up here. Also leave the, the segment of the music in, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I was actually pretty pleased with the music. I don't know who composed uh, music for this. I don't believe it was Ian Taylor. Maybe he did contribute right before he got in his uh, legal issues. Um, he's a fucking idiot. Um, but he was definitely the best composer that, uh, Jack X ever had on their team. That's for fucking sure. And, um, it's a shame he had to be a shady dude. And there it is. Um, night at the theater complete. I hope you enjoyed. Um, uh, just to wrap up with what I was saying. I love a lot of the RuneScape music, of course, and a lot of the new music isn't so great. Even the stuff that was composed by Ian Taylor, I don't enjoy, but uh, the Theater of Blood soundtrack actually slapped pretty pretty hard. Um, so yeah, that got some gold stars from me. I don't think I listened to the Cox music when I did it for my Elite Diary. Yeah, let's see our loot here. I think I got some herbs, yep. Very exciting. Could have been a sight. Maybe one day on this account. I don't know though, it's a lot. I never thought I'd get this far on the account, let alone uh, doing actual raids, which I, I definitely will be doing Cox. Don't know if Slash One will be doing Theater of Blood though. I guess that uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. And uh, I'll see you next time. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope that was uh, entertaining. If you haven't really seen that. Before.